literally so tired today. I don't know why. I went to bed at like, I think midnight, which is pretty on time for me. Um, but it sounds like there's kind of like a fire at work that I have to handle this morning. And then I'm gonna give you guys a good tour later on of just what Christmas decorations I have up. Um, we decided to change up the color of the Christmas tree this year. So that's kind of fun and decided to wear red because I'm feeling festive today. Is it just me or is literally everyone, is literally everyone wanting to celebrate Christmas like now? It's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I'm kind of like the same way too, so no hate. shop at Trader Joe's because I can't afford anything else in this economy and I think we can all understand that but I discovered this Christmas creamer that they just came out with and it is literally my favorite creamer I've ever tasted in the fall which it's still technically fall but like all of October I still have some of this left over and I still love this too this stuff is amazing as well. They have a cinnamon bun one that's so good too. But if you're a Christmas girly right now, you need to get this. It is literally so good and it tastes like, let's see, it tastes like what it is, gingerbread. I'm also on a tea fix. I drink tea at night and I'm really excited. I picked up this from Trader Joe's candy cane green tea and it's decaffeinated. But look how cute this packaging is. I, I think that's like one of my favorite things about Trader Joe's is they make sure their entire store is like an experience. Even like while you're looking at groceries, they just make sure like all of the packaging fits the vibe for the year or the season, whatever time of year it is. So I'm probably gonna try this tonight. And I've been making Drew their hot cocoa mix probably like four times a week. I don't know why he he's just craving hot cocoa all the time now. So it's really good too. Um, I'm usually the type of person to make my hot chocolate with milk because I like the thickness of it and I feel like it gives it a richer flavor. But with the Trader Joe's hot chocolate, I literally just use water and it tastes like the quality of milk, a milk base for hot cocoa. Let me show you guys. This is literally it. Packaging, 10 out of 10. I'm very picky about hot chocolate and that is exactly what it is. It's creamy and rich. Flavor wise, there's nothing watery about it, but if you like your cup of hot cocoa even richer, make it with milk. I make it with water and it's already super rich. So if you want to step your game up even more, try it out with milk. This is literally it. Sometimes hot cocoa mixes come with marshmallows already inside of them, but this one does not. So you can top it with your favorite marshmallows or whipped cream would be really good too. There's a mini Trader Joe's haul. This is literally so good. It's in the 40s here. And I don't know why I haven't turned the heater on in here, but I probably should, but I like having the windows open to get that fresh air circulating in here and I've created this atmosphere. So the turkey gobbler wrap from Trader Joe's, so good. This is basically just a Trader Joe's vlog and that's okay. It has cranberry stuffing in it, turkey, and let's see what else. I have no idea how to say that word. Neufchatel cheese. Hmm, so good. My Christmas tree's behind me. Let me turn it on, actually. I'm never usually in my glasses. It's been over a month since I went and got my eyes checked for my annual checkup and they ordered me contacts, but then they told me that the contacts that I've literally always used are no longer being made. I was like, well, that's really frustrating and I really like those contacts, so I guess give me the best option that's very similar to those. So they ordered the contacts that are very similar to the ones I used to have. Turns out they're out of stock. So it's been like over a month of waiting for contacts 
They gave me some monthly trials around my birthday, which was October 28th. And they don't really work that great, which isn't good. I mean, monthly contacts are a little bit thicker than dailies. I wear dailies because one time I had like this whole eye infection thing and it just ruined everything for monthlies. So I swapped to dailies and I haven't had that issue again. So that's why you see me in glasses. Literally, you probably won't ever see me in glasses this often ever again. I can't even speak. I like my glasses. These are brand new. I liked the turtle, um, what is it? Tortoise? Turtle shell? Tortoise? <laughs> <laughs> no idea what I'm saying. Okay, I need to stop vlogging. I'm going to end up embarrassing myself. Okay, just finished up with work and I'm cooking dinner now. It's kind of a last minute dinner, so I'm having to use all like pre-made stuff from Trader Joe's. <laughs> I think this is like an herb marinated chicken. And then we have some really strange looking frozen mashed, mashed potatoes. I've literally never seen mashed potatoes like this before. It looks like they cooked them and then like shot them through a tube and froze them. I think to pair it with like a salad, I'm gonna do this harvest apple salad kit. It's actually really good. I had it for the first time last week and really liked it. Um, so I'll show you guys once we're done. Point Unpopular opinion. I love Tristan. So things are going good for you too, huh? Yeah, they are. I actually kind of wish that they had gotten together, but that's just my opinion. told you guys I was gonna show you our Christmas tree. So we're in a very small apartment because we're in DC and the cost of living up here is insane. So we have a tiny tree and I put it in a basket because I wanted to elevate it a little bit because it's so short. As you can see, there's a basket. Inside of the basket is a pillow and a blanket and it only goes up to there. I think naturally without the basket and the pillow and the blanket, I think it's to there. Um, so yeah. Decided this year I wanted to do more of like green and red colors. Um, this is from St. Kitts from our honeymoon that we went on back in July. Here's another one. It's so cute. Here is an ornament my mom gave Drew and I. It's really pretty. Here's one of our engagement photos. This was a little over a year ago, back in October. And it was at the National Cathedral, which we drove by last night. It was like the perfect spot. Um, I love adding these icicles. Um, I have a tree back at my parents' house too that I use the icicles on. They just add like a little bit of um, texture and change it up from all of the circular ornaments. I also really like little diamonds that hang. It looks like little raindrops from far away. I'm loving these um, candy cane ornaments too. Those are really pretty. Oh yeah, this is from when we went to Positano, my family and I back in, I think it was May. It's hand painted as well. And it's in the shape of a lemon because of the lemon trees that they have there. And then we also have some garland here I need to light up. Here it is. I've got to figure out what to do with all my cords because that looks so crazy. Remember when I said I was going to make this earlier today? Let's try it. First of all, if you don't have an electric kettle, what are you doing? This thing is amazing. I use it every single day. It makes making tea so much easier. Why is the lighting so harsh? Okay, let's get this tea going.
When I was in college and like I would go to the library every single day, I was obsessed with green tea. I would get those, I think it was Lipton maybe. And they sell like bottled green tea. I was obsessed. Like I would just drink that every single day. But this green tea is decaffeinated. I used to get the caffeinated version um, cause I liked not a ton of caffeine in the evening, but it would help me get through like the study hours, if you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and add some honey to this just cause I like my tea to be a little sweet. This is also Trader Joe's honey. Our whole pantry is just Trader Joe's right now. Okay, I've let it steep for a few minutes. Let's give it a taste. Oh my God. I am not even kidding. That actually is the best tea I've ever had. I would drink this year round. If you live near a Trader Joe's, I'm not even joking right now. Leave your house right now and go get this. Even if you don't like tea, I feel like you'll like this. Mix a little bit of milk in this and that's gonna be the best drink you've ever had. Not the best drink, but the best tea. I am also going to be participating in Vlogmas this year, which I'm really excited about. I've actually never done it before. Um, so, I'm just trying to write down a list of Christmassy things to do with family. Um, I, the company I work for, they actually give off like two weeks at the end of the year, um, starting right before Christmas. So that'll be perfect timing to go do like a bunch of fun Christmassy stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Let me know in the comments below like what you like to see personally when you watch any Christmas vlogs or vlogmas because um, I'm looking for any ideas that I can but I'm super excited about that. Here's to a new era of vlogging. I'm really excited to kind of revamp this channel and if you've watched this far thank you so much for your support. Um, if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, and comment below what you would like to see in a vlogmas video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye Okay, so we're a little stir crazy So we're gonna drive around DC and just see like where are we going the capital? No Let me just read you the route I have since someone is nonverbal right now. Yeah, all right, we're doing the Lincoln Memorial, then the Capitol, then we're gonna come back to the Cathedral, which is where Drew proposed to me. Yeah. Lincoln Memorial! Going before? Had you started it? Yeah. It's going right now. I know, but I just pressed the button. Is that called France? The Louvre. The Where Drew proposed. Jesus. 